Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. My thanks to Don Julian for standing in for me yesterday. According to the Hopkins County Sheriff's Office, on, Dece on January 2nd, 2019, Hopkins County Corrections Officer Sinead Nicole Hagan, age 27, was arrested and charged with improper sexual activity with person in custody. As soon as the jail staff became aware of allegations of sexual activity between Hagan, a corrections officer, and an inmate, the Texas Rangers were notified. Texas Ranger John Vance conducted the investigation. District Attorney Will Ramsey was made aware of the criminal activity and a warrant was issued for Hagan's arrest. Hagan was booked into Hopkins County Jail. Methamphetamine sales and use have increased during the last six months of 2018, according to Silver Springs Special Crimes Unit Mark Estes, Special Crimes Unit Officer. Estes said methamphetamine has taken over the community and has become the focus of the unit. He states that the unit is focused on all the Penalty 1 group drugs, which includes meth, heroin, and cocaine. Silver Springs Special Crimes Unit, consisting of Silver Springs Police Officers Estes and Joe Scott, have been in a lengthy investigation from July through December 2018. During that time, they've conducted 61 felony cases involving 27 defendants. Using confidential informants, they've seized 7.18 ounces of methamphetamine, 5 grams of crack cocaine, 2.5 grams of heroin, 2.5 pounds of marijuana, 8 pounds of mushrooms, seized currency totaling $21,099, seized two vehicles, and six firearms. Estes says marijuana is a gateway drug to stronger drugs like meth and crack. He says it doesn't take long for one to realize there's more money to be made in meth than marijuana. Silver Springs police were dispatched to Fisher Street address in reference to a stolen vehicle. As officers sought the vehicle, a witness advised that Jadarius DeMonte McGill, age 17, of Silver Springs was hiding from the police. When found, McGill filed, uh, fled police before complying with orders to stop. McGill is in Hopkins County Jail, charged with unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. He's held on a $10,000 bond. When the Hopkins County deputy conducted a traffic stop for failure to use a signal required distance and not coming to a complete stop, he found there was a warrant for the driver, Alexander Guzman Thomas, age 38, of Sulphur Springs. The Camp County warrant was for assault. Arrested and taken to jail, it was found that Guzman Thomas had 3.4 grams of methamphetamine in his left sock. Guzman Thomas is charged with possession of controlled substance penalty group 1 greater than 1 gram less than 4 grams. He's being held on a $10,000 bond for that charge. He's also being held on the Camp County warrant. Here's Don Julian with sports. With planned games in a Princeton soccer tournament canceled Thursday due to the weather, the Wildcats soccer team had an extra day to watch film and practice in the multi-purpose field on Thursday. The Wildcats had an alumni scrimmage last Friday, short scrimmages against three opponents last Saturday, and one last scrimmage on New Year's Day. Wildcats soccer coach Alexi Upton said in those short scrimmage games last Saturday, the Wildcats battled to ties with Forney, Kilgore, and Pine Tree. He said the Wildcats took a one to nothing scrimmage loss at Frisco Lebanon Trail on New Year's Day. Coach Upton said the scrimmages yielded good, uh, good results, or yielded good results, but he also pointed out that the Wildcats need to do a better job of finishing off opponents. He said the Lebanon Trail loss was a case in point. Coach Upton said the Wildcats dominated play and stayed tied with Lebanon Trail only to give up a goal with just a minute and a half left to play. Coach Upton actually welcomed uh, the extra day before regular season play begins. He said the Wildcats watched film and did some run-throughs on the multi-purpose building field on Thursday. He said the Wildcats are having to battle injuries and illnesses. In fact, four Wildcats varsity players have nagging injuries. Still, Coach Upton remains positive, saying the Wildcats are trending upward and he still believes they will have a successful year. In the Princeton tournament now, the Wildcats will play Salina Friday at 11.45 a.m. 
and then Princeton Saturday morning at 9.15. Other possible games Saturday depend on the results of those earlier games. The Lady Cats soccer team was supposed to open the regular season Thursday at a Terrell tournament, but Mother Nature had other plans. All the Thursday games in that tournament were canceled due to possible wintry weather on Thursday. The Lady Cats now have games in the Terrell tournament scheduled on Friday and Saturday. Friday, the Lady Cats will be playing Mesquite Poteet at 3 p.m. and then Red Oak at 7.30 p.m. Then Saturday, the Lady Cats will face the Highland Park JV at noon. Other games Saturday for the Lady Cats will be determined by earlier tournament games. The Lady Cats, too, are battling uh, injuries and illnesses as the season begins. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening.